Let us see about 4 bit synchronous down counter using JK flip flop. Already we have seen about synchronous up counter. Here we will see about synchronous down counter. So what you are going to learn here is you will learn how to design a 4 bit synchronous down counter or uh, the question can be like this design a counter which counts from 15, 14, 13 uh, in reverse order. So first we should know about the truth table of the flip flop uh, with which we are going to design the counter. So always um, remember this one when J and K are 1 the output will toggle in a JK flip flop. Only this property we are going to use and design the counter. So for 4 bit since it is specified as a 4 bit counter we need 4 flip flops. So it means that um, number of states will be 2 power 4 equal to 16. So totally 16 states will be there. You can see here A, B, C, D, 4 flip flops I have taken and there are 16 states. So I have started with 0, 0. You can start with 15 also, 1, 1, 1. You can mark this as first one and do the calculation or you can start from 0. So it's up to you. You can start either here or here. Both are same. So from 15 if you start it will end in 0 or if you start from 0 it will end in 1. Okay, Your table will change. That's it. But diagram, the logic diagram, final diagram remains the same. First let us uh, design the flip flop A. You see the flip flop A, it is toggling 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So every clock cycle this should toggle. So for that what we can do is take the first flip flop. Connect J and K to 1. So we have seen that when J and K both the inputs are 1. The output will toggle in a flip flop. So here I am connecting J and K to 1. So this QA will change every change its state every clock cycle. So it becomes 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So connect J and K equal to 1. Next let us design a flip flop B. So you take this B flip flop and see it is uh, changing from 0 to 1 here. Again 1 to 0 here. So when it is changing its state when QA is 0 it is changing from 0 to 1. Again when it is 0 it is changing from 1 to 0. When it is 0, again it changes its state. So we can say that QB changes state when QA is 0. So what we can do? You take the uh, A flip flop. The QA bar is just opposite of QA or complement of QA. So connect QA bar to the B flip flop. Remember for uh, up counter we will connect QA to JK of second flip flop for down counter you need to connect QA bar to the input of second flip flop. So by this way whenever QA is 0 QA complement is 1 QA bar will be 1. So 1 is connected to JK flip flop so this will toggle. So for down counter you need to connect QA bar for up counter you have to connect QA. Let's design the flip flop C. You see here it is changing from 0 to 1. So when it is changing from changing its state 0 to 1 when A and B are 0. Similarly you see here it changes from 1 to 0 when both the inputs are 0. So whenever QA and QB are 0 it is changing its state. So what we can do is take QA bar and QB bar it will be equal to 1. So when these two are equal to 1, it means that QA and QB are 0. It's, we are taking the complement, give it to your AND gate and connect it to the input of the C flip flop. Next to design the fourth flip flop, we can see that when it is changing its state, here it is changing its state. 
when all the three inputs are zero it is changing its state here also so to design the uh, d flip flop you can see here when all the three inputs are zero it is changing its state from 1 to 0 d flip flop again here it is all the three are zero so it is changing its state so we are taking q a bar q b bar and q c bar to a and gate and that is given as the input so it is just opposite of the up counter in up counter we need to take q a q b in down counter you have to take the complement so this is the timing diagram so here you have to see that first all are high that is 15 1 1 1 so it is 1 1 1 is there then 14 will be there 13 12 so it should be drawn in this way so because it is a down counter it starts from 15 or you can start from 0 but it goes in the reverse direction so if you see the difference between uh, four bit synchronous up counter and down counter so up counter you see you will take qa qb to a and gauge in down counter you have to take from qa bar and qb bar again for next k next flip flop also we have to take it from the qc whereas here you have to take it from qc bar so up counter will count from 0 to 15 down counter will count from 15 to 0 if you like the material do subscribe to read electric vehicle channel and for study material link is given in the description for any queries you can mail to read electric vehicle at gmail.com thank you